I want to create a more interesting ecosystem when it comes to cloud-based infrastructure because I don't want to be locked in to any particular vendor's way of working and their proprietary approaches to the way problems are solved with visual effects. It's already difficult enough when we have the granular control that we do within a visual effects pipeline on site. And so it makes sense that we have to do the same thing in the cloud. You, know, you need the exact same level of control, which is absolute. So the OCD in me decided that I was gonna build my own cloud-based infrastructure from scratch. What I've been able to do is a really good foundation for how I would like to interact with effects-heavy data workloads in the cloud. A couple of days ago, we ran this test where we had, I don't know, about 16 million particles running in a simulation. The simulation took about two hours and then when the simulation finished, we had our rendered frames coming off the backside of that. And the heavy data stayed in the cloud. So the simulation stayed there. But if I want to, I can interact with that data on the other side with a virtual workstation. So I can operate my workstation here and get the full grunt, no latency. Then when it comes time to submission, that simulation is going to run and the heavy simulation data is going to stay on the other side in the cloud. And then when the renders complete, they'll come back home. Right now, I'm mainly just interested in being able to have that sim data sit there and interact with it as I choose because every single case is going to be quite different. If I want to interact with the data on the other side, I can spin up a virtual workstation on the other side with Teradici and I can spin up Houdini FX, which um, will pull a license from my license server here. And I can interact with the heavy data through a virtual workstation. It's actually just about being able to optimize for wherever the heavy data is as to where my workstation license is being used.